So, you know how we get these moments in life when the light bulb goes off brighter than ever? And sometimes even if you know something, you need that teachable moment again to really infiltrate it in yourself. So I had the most interesting teachable moment lately. You know, I'm all about the sugar break, sugar break, sugar break. And I know a lot of the uh, fruitarians or the people who are like my sweetheart, Johnny Juicer, you know, fruit, 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 watermelon, watermelon, all fruit, fruit, fruit. And I'm always kind of preaching against it, not as a uh, forever, but giving the body a break. Anyway, long story short, Johnny comes to stay with me for a few days. And the big heart that he has, he walks in the door with a gallon of watermelon juice like this for me and um, another big yellow watermelon like this and what else he has some other sugary stuff with him and you know guys I really try to limit my sugar I don't go on a sugar break all the time I do have fruit but I don't do massive amounts of it I don't do massive amounts of anything because in my belief system we don't need that much fuel. We're not burning off that much. We're not roaming the planet. We're not climbing the trees for our fruit. You know, we're sitting there ordering it or driving around the grocery store. Some people even in those carts and, you know, I mean, we're just not really working for it anymore. So I think people have taken way too much fruit sugar, way too much food in general. But anyway, so I'm looking at all this beautiful food because it's pretty to look at that he brings. And we start the three day weekend, right? So all of it was a weekday. So watermelon juice for breakfast. Uh, what do I normally have? Well, we'll go into that another day. Then a half a watermelon. We ate, oh, jackfruit. And then we went to the store and he brought more stuff. So literally the first day I had watermelon and watermelon juice and jackfruit. And I know that sounds wonderful to a lot of you, but I came to work afterwards and I'm sitting on the couch and we're, we're a family here and customers and we're sitting around talking and right in the middle of everyone here, I nodded off. <laughs> it was so embarrassing. I mean, I was like, like a drug addict, okay? And then I woke up and um, Gonia, who works for me, we all love, she goes, I want some of what you're doing. Like I was doing drugs or something, right? Well, I was doing drugs, folks. I was doing the sugar drug even in the fruit. And it didn't dawn on me right away because that doesn't happen to me. You know, I brag, I don't sleep four and a half hours a night. And with Johnny, I was sleeping even less because we're up talking all night and making plans for our retreat and everything. And, you know, it just went past me. And, and, and you get in the moment with people. That's part of relationships of life. You know, people come, they bring you gifts. You don't sit down and judge it. Although normally I would have limited myself, you know, and I wouldn't have started it first thing in the morning and last thing at night and up till, I mean, it was insane. But, and, and you, it may not be happening to you where you can feel it or you know it, but you have those lows in the day that you aren't attributing to maybe all the sugar you ate. You know, and when you're a lot younger, I know you can get away with a lot more. But there were some other issues. I was looking at adrenals and some other stuff on Johnny having, you know, so much sugar. I mean, he's in perfection, but my eye is trained to see a lot of other things. I'm not a doctor, I'm not a scientist, but it's just my intuition and living this lifestyle for the past 50 years. Anyway, it was just a beautiful, teachable moment to remind myself why I don't do all of that fruit and why I find it so important to give myself a sugar break in general. And I'm not talking about white sugar or uh, honey or all these other things that are healthier. Um, I, do, I will do monk fruit sometimes when I'm doing a sugar break, but I don't care for the taste of stevia. I know it's a great, another great alternative to use that I wouldn't worry about. But I'm just here to say, we all need to take a sugar break at some point. You need to give your body that break because I've proved it to myself 100%. You may feel you're getting that energy and you do get that charge, but boy, when you get that let down, you're like nodding out in front of people in your business. So anyway, I hope this is, just gives you some food for thought. And if you are interested in you know testing out how you would feel, just 10 short days without it. Just make your body the laboratory and I have a beautiful kit that I can recommend or you may have your own way you want to do it but my, my kit's kind of proven um, 
Not to say there aren't other proven moments, uh, ways to do it, but anyway, just had to give you that little glimpse of me getting a backward step and real big teachable moment. So uh, check in, I've got lots more to discuss with you and remember that if you don't take care of your body, the most magnificent machine you'll ever be given, where are you gonna live?